Thank you for choosing Newswatch 12 at 6. I'm Jerry Howard. In our top story tonight, we're following up on a fight that took place at the shortstop market in Medford involving Hedrick Middle School students. We were able to speak with the manager of that market today who says this violence has been an ongoing issue. Newswatch 12's Cameron Baber joins us live from Central Medford. Cameron, you were able to speak with the manager of the market. What does she want to see get done to help resolve this issue? Well, Jerry, overall, she wants parents to be held accountable for their children's actions, especially if they're dangerous ones. Now, the manager at Shortstop Market told me that she experiences this kind of behavior every single day that affects her, her business, her employees, and her customers. And overall, she just wants something to be done about it. I had a co-worker try to stop it and get in the middle of it, and she got knocked down, and, but she's okay. And then we're damned if we're doing, damned if we don't, if we put our hands on them, so... We just let it go. Kim Parker is the manager of Shortstop Market on East Jackson Street, right across the street from Hedrick Middle School, where last week a fight broke out involving students from the school and police had to step in. It just never gets resolved. Sometimes the SO will come down and help out, but that's when he can, and it's just, it's hard. The kids are so disrespectful. With how much this issue occurs, parents are concerned for their children's safety. One mother wrote to Newswatch 12 saying, Last night, my 12-year-old daughter started crying and told me she was scared to go to school. Also stating that this behavior of so many kids is unacceptable. She goes on to mention that she also feels bad for the employees who work there, saying the owner gets harassed daily. When I ask Kim what she believes needs to get done, she says, Parents to be held accountable for their kids. They, you know, most parents think their kids don't do wrong. You better come down here and watch them. In a statement from Medford School District saying, we take violence seriously at Hedrick and in the Medford School District. We are addressing the incident and the students involved. Kim hopes that this is a wake up call and hopes to see a difference in safety and behavior for the safety of her staff and shoppers. Reporting in Medford, Cameron Baber, Newswatch 12.